Hello students, welcome back to our maths class. We will continue this session further with the next exercise 7.6 with question number 1. In the previous video children, we had learned how to add and subtract the like fractions and unlike fractions. It's the same concept we will be using here in this exercise 2. Okay, the first question given to us is solve. Solve the fractions. So, the first question given to us is 2 by 3 plus 1 by 7. Okay, you can see these are unlike fractions. So, we need to take LCM. That is LCM we will get here is 21. Now, changing the denominators with 21, to get 21, 2 by 3, what I will multiply? 7 by 7. You can see 2 by 3 into 7 by 7 plus 1 upon 7. As the denominator is 7, to get it 21, I have to multiply 3 by 3. Children, remember one thing, whatever number you multiply to the denominator, the same number you have to multiply to its numerator also. You cannot change the numbers in numerator and denominator. Multiply same number. You have to get the equivalent fraction, right? So, finally, when you multiply 2 7s are 14 by 21 plus 3 by 21, you will get. Now, you can see the denominators have become same. That is like fractions now. So, you can add the numerators. So, 14 plus 3, you will get your answer as 17 upon 21. Now, one more. 4 by 9 plus 2 by 7. Here also children, they are unlike fraction. We need to take the LCM of 9 and 7. That is 63 I get. Now, changing the equivalent fraction with the denominator 63 here. 4 upon 9 multiplied by 7 by 7 because 9 sevens I will get 63. Okay. So, always judge on the basis of its denominator. Then 2 by 7 again multiplying 9 upon 9. Here, now multiplying the numerators, 4 7s are 28 by 63 plus 2 9s are 18 by 63. Now, the denominators are same. So, we just add the numerators. When we add the numerators, I will get my answer here as 46 by 63. Next one. 3 by 4 minus 1 by 3. Children, you can see here the denominators here two are different. That means they are unlike fractions. We need to take the LCM that is 12. 4 and 3 the LCM I will get is 12. Now, changing into equivalent fraction here with the denominator 12 here. 3 into 3 upon 4 multiplied by 3 by 3 that is 4 3 I will get 12 minus 1 by 3 into 4 by 4. Okay. Now, Multiply the numerators, 3, 3 is a 9 by 12 minus 1 into 4, 4 ones are 4, 4 by 12. Okay. Now, you can see the denominators have become same. We can operate the numerators, 9 minus 4. Finally, I will get my answer here as 5 by 12. One more children here, unlike fraction only here, the question is, you can see 2 by 3 plus 3 by 4 plus 1 by 2. If I take the LCM of 3, 4 and 2 together, I will get my LCM here as 12. Now, changing into equivalent fraction here, 2 by 3 into 4 upon 4 plus the sign you do not change in whatever in the equation, put it in the between the two fractions. 3 by 4 into 3 by 3 plus 1 upon 2 into 6 by 6. Okay. So, here you can see 4 2 is 8 by 12, 3 3 is 9 by 12, 1 6 is 6 by 12. All the 3 here the denominators became same children. Now, you can add the numerators that is 8 plus 9 plus 6. You will get your result finally children as 23 by 12. Okay. So, very simple to follow. Take the LCM, change to equivalent fraction and operate the numerators. Okay, one more here. It is in the form of mixed fraction till and here. 4 integer, 2 by 3 plus 3 integer, 1 upon 4. The first thing till and you need to do here is convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. Okay, 4 3 is a 12, 12 plus 2, 14 by 3 plus 
3 4s are 12 plus 1 13 by 4 that is the improper form. Now look at this only now. Now as the denominators we have different here we have to take LCM ok. So, LCM of 3 and 4 will get here as 12. Now changing into equivalent fraction with the denominator 12 converting 14 by 3 into 4 by 4 because the denominator is 3 I have to change to 12. So, I am going to multiply 4 ok. So, both numerator and denominator will have the same number to multiply plus 13 by 4 into 3 by 3. Now multiply the numerators 14 4s are 56 by 12 plus 13 3s are 39 by 12 and you can see now the denominators are same add the numerators and simplify. Now 56 plus 39 I am going to get here as 95 by 12 as my answer. So very simple children follow step by step you will come to your answer very correctly. Question number 2 now. It is a word problem children here. Sarita bought 2 fifth meter of ribbon and Lalita 3 fourth meter of the ribbon. What is the total length of the ribbon they bought? Total length they are asking that means the given fractions we have to add them. Okay, so let us go step by step with it. The ribbon bought by Sarita 2 by 5 meter and by Lalita is 3 by 4 meter. Now as we have to find the total length of the ribbon they bought together we will add 2 by 5 plus 3 by 4. Now 2 by 5 plus 3 by 4 children the denominators we have different over here. So we will be taking the LCM here of 5 and 4 that is equal to 20. Now we will change the fraction to the equivalent fraction with the denominator 20. 2 by 5 into 4 upon 4 we get plus 3 by 4 into 5 by 5. Now multiply the numerators 2 4 is 8 by 20 plus 3 5 is 15 by 20. When we now the denominator became same children you can add the numerators 8 plus 15 you get 23 by 20. So what is the total length of the ribbon they bought together children? It is 23 by 20 meter ok. So let us go further. The next question children here is Naina was given a piece of cake and Najma was given one piece of cake. Find the total amount of the cake given to both of them ok children. Now you can see Naina has 3 by 2 part of the cake, Najma has 4 by 3 part of cake. Now we have to find the total amount of cake given to both of them that means we have to add the fraction. So 3 by 2 plus 4 by 3. As both the denominators are different we will take the LCM. LCM we are going to get here is 6 ok. Now you can see we will convert the denominators with uh, equivalent fraction with the denominator 6. 3 by 2 into 3 by 3 plus 4 by 3 into 2 by 2 ok. So 3 3 is a 9 upon 6 plus 8 by 6. Now you can see the denominators are different uh, same children here we can add the numerators. So 9 plus 8 you will get finally your answer is 17 by 6 part of the cake was given to both of them that is Naina and Najma. Next question number 6 children here. A piece of wire 7 by 8 meter long broke into 2 pieces. One piece was 1 fourth meter long. How long is the other piece? So one full piece of wire is there that is 7 by 8 meter children and out of that full it is broken. One part is of 1 by fourth meter. We are asked to find the second part. So what are we going to do? Yes, we are going to subtract the fractions, right? So the total length of the wire 7 by 8 meter. The length of one piece that is broken here that is 1 by 4. Now to find the length of the other piece we will subtract here. You can see here we have subtracted here 7 upon 8 minus 1 by 4. Now as you know 
if we take the LCM here, the LCM I am going to get here is 8. Now, converting the denominators here, 7 by 8 into 1 upon 1 minus 1 by 4 into 2 upon 2. Here, denominator was 8 only, so I do not need to multiply anything. Here, 4 was a, so I have multiplied 2 upon 2. Now, let us multiply children here, 7 ones are 7 by 8 minus 2 by 8. So, finally, when we subtract the numerators 7 minus 2 by 8, I will get my answer here as 5 upon 8. So, what was the length of the other wire children? You can see here that the length of the other piece of wire was 5 by 8 meter. One more question children here. Nandani's house is 9 upon 10 kilometer from her school. She walked some distance and took a bus for half kilometer to reach the school. How far did she walk? Okay. Now, the total distance of the school and the house given, that is the distance of the school from house is 9 upon 10 kilometer. She traveled by bus half a kilometer. Now, we have to find that what distance does she, did she walk. Now, children, the <coughs> when we subtract the total distance and the distance traveled by her by bus, we will get the remaining distance that she had walked. So, 9 by 10 minus 1 by 2. This is the uh, distance she walked and this is the total distance of the school and the house. Now, as both are unlike fractions, we will take the LCM as 10 here. That is 9 upon 10 into 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon 2 into 5 by 5. Now, multiply the numerators. 9 ones are 9 upon 10 minus 5 upon 10. As the denominators became same, we can simplify the numerators. 9 minus 5, I will get 4 by 10 and 4 by 10 still I can reduce 2 to za and 2 phi za. So, how much distance did she walk? She walked 2 upon 5 kilometer from there. Okay. So, let us see what do we have next here. <coughs> Asha and Samuel have bookshelves of the same size partly filled with books. Asha's shelf is 5 6 full and Samuel's shelf is 2 5th full. Whose bookshelf is more full and by what fraction? Now you can see the Asha's bookshelf is 5 6 full and Samuel's is 2 5th. But to convert now you can see here, here we have to tell that whose bookshelf is more but for that we have to compare and whenever we compare children, first we have to make the denominators equal, they should be like fractions. So, let us convert both of them to with the like fraction and the they are taking LCM of 6 and 5, the LCM I am going to get here is 30. So, 5 by 6 into 5 by 5, I will get 25 by 30 and 2 by 5 into 6 upon 6, I am going to get 12 by 30. Now, you can see both these fractions, they are now like fractions, we can compare them. Now, when we compare, you can see that 25 by 30 is greater than 12 by 30. Now, if we go to the original form of the question children, you will get 5, 6 is greater than 2 by 5. And according to that, Asha's book self is more full than Samuel's because 5 up by 6 bookshelf was of Asha. Okay. So, Asha's bookshelf is filled more, but one more question asked to us in it that by how much. So, let us uh, subtract 25 minus 12 by 30, we will get 13 by 30. So, how much more it is full? It is more full by 13 upon 30th part. Okay. So, very easy to simplify the fractions children. Next we have here, Jaydev takes 2 integer 1 upon 5 minutes to walk across the school ground, whereas Rahul takes 7 fourth minutes to do the same. Who takes less time and by what fraction? Okay, so let us now, here also comparison is there children, but for comparison here, we have to change the fractions into like fractions. So, 
the Jaydev takes 11 upon 5, 11 upon 5, how you got children? The impro uh, we have converted the mixed fraction that is 2 integer 1 upon 5 to 11 upon 5 minutes. Similarly, Rahul takes 7 upon 4. Now, you can see 11 by 5 and 7 by 4, they are unlike fractions. So, I have to take LCM, I will take the LCM here as 20. Now, converting the denominators, you can see 11 by 5 into 4 upon 4, I will get 44 by 20. Next, 7 by 4 into 5 by 5, I am going to get 35 by 20. Now, you can see children, comparison is very easy. 44 by 20 is greater than 35 by 20. That means, Rahul takes less time than Jaydev to walk across the school ground. And by how much children? Let us subtract and see. Here, you can see 44 by 20 minus 35 by 20. If you will do, you will see that we get 5 by 20. Still, if you reduce 5 ones are 5 fours are. So, by one fourth minute more, less he is moving around the ground. So, with this children, we and this exercise, hope you understood this chapter very well. Practice it well so that you understand all the concept easily. I will see you in the next lecture. Till then, bye bye.